Hello everybody, nice to meet you. This is Kevin. Many people are very interested in our Varakuni upgrade kit. So in this video, I'm gonna show you what items are included in our kit. Just to see here, these are the packages. They all look so good for it. And now, let me show you all of these accessories. The first one, the most important part is this 7000 watt power supply, which is the key for running water cooling miners. And uh, this power supply has a lower running temperature and uh, a more stable operation than the air and the immersion power supply. And uh, the second one is this control board. You can adjust the uh, frequency of your miners according to the current coin price and the market situation. Maybe many people will ask if they can use the original control board and uh, the overclocking card. Yes, of course. But when you have uh, so many miners, you just can adjust them uh, one by one. However, about our oven control board, the overclocking program is included in it. And you can adjust the frequency of your miners with one click operation on your uh, computers and uh, mobile phones. And uh, then here is the uh, water cleaning board. And uh, there are three boards in this upgrade kit. Here are two plates and uh, this is the water separator which is for putting here. And uh, this is the ear diagram actuator, and uh, this will be put here. Just a look. And uh, here are the uh, water pipe and uh, two fan simulators. And uh, all of these accessories will be included in this Varakuni upgrade kit. And the following question is how to use them to upgrade your miner by yourselves. And actually, it is much easier than the upgrade for heat sink of S17. And here are some tools that we need to prepare. Here are the injector and the silicon grease, the washing water, dustless clothes, the brush, the waterproof adhesive tape, heat conduction tape, and the electrical uh, screwdriver. Of course, our water cooling upgrade kit. And here is the S19 Pro. And now, let me set this an example to show you how to do it. Firstly, let us take down the fans, the power supply, and the case, and take out the hash boards. Okay, the hash boards have been taken out. And uh, now we need to uh, remove the original heat sinks and uh, clean and dust the hash boards. And uh, then we just need to put this water cooling board on it. And uh, in this step, we need to use these tools. So now. Okay, now all the three hash boards has been upgraded and uh, we need to uh, take apart all the parts from the case just like this one. We need to put all of them three hash boards back to the case and then install the control board, water separator, the plates, air diagram actuators and the fan simulators. So let's do it. Okay, until now, all the parts has been installed. And now we're gonna connect the water pipe to those air diagram actuators and then connect the 7,000 watts power supply to this case. Okay, now the upgrade for this S19 Pro has been finished. It is very easy and convenient, right? And this process is the internal circulation system for running uh, water cooling miners. And if you have your own external circulation system, our water cooling upgrade kit is not for you. But if you don't have it, we will also provide you the infrastructure of uh, water cooling solution. So now let's check the real time testing data. The real-time hash rate is 
and the power consumption is 6,561 watts. The chip temperature is 60 degrees, and uh, the testing duration is 15 minutes. The power consumption ratio is 36.78 watts per day, and uh, the hash rate increases by 68.40. The power consumption ratio of the hash rate being increased is 48.5 watts per day. The real time hash rate is 144.360, and the power consumption is 4496 watts. The chip temperature is 53 to 57 degrees. The testing duration is 62 minutes. The power consumption ratio is 31.14 watts per day and the hash rate increases by 34.360. The power consumption ratio of the hash rate being increased is 36.26 watts per day. The real time hash rate is 127.580, and the power consumption is 3,678 watts. The chip temperature is 50 to 52 degrees, and the testing duration is 62 minutes. The power consumption ratio is 28.81 watts per day, and the hash rate increases by 17.580. The power consumption ratio of the hash rate being increased is 24.23 watts per day. Okay, that is all for today's video. If you have any questions about the upgrade, please comment below or keep following us. And in the next video, I will show you our working container and the other products. So, see you next time. Bye.